John, a, a difficult afternoon at the office. Um, by my count, we had five really good chances in the first half. It's perhaps the biggest regret that we couldn't get ourselves in the lead. Yeah, it might have been also different if we had taken any one of these chances, you know. So, for five chances this week, you know, for like 15 attempts with five on target last week, you think the low average you would manage to get one of these going in, you know, but not quite totally like um, committed, you know, the, the attempts on goal are no so brilliant, you know, they're kind of like shots on target, but there's no necessarily uh, ones that are going to go flying in the top top bin by, by all accounts, you know, so yeah, I thought the first half, first half was a very open game, it was kind of end to end, although we started the game really well, first opening 20 minutes, I thought we passed the ball really well, and uh, created opportunities, 1v1s that maybe we should have done better with, particularly doing the left hand side, Callum getting at them, but no quite getting that that goal that we probably maybe deserved in that opening period, maybe just not incisive enough, no cutting edge enough to to get that goal. Uh, but it was open and so, you know, they had that chances as well. They managed to get the nose in front and again, I think towards the end of the half, we were, we were still threatening to, to score. I thought it was very open and at half time, you know, in a very open game, even game, you know, you might, you might just find yourself ahead or you might just find yourself, you know, behind were behind that time we still felt that we were well in the game and that we could get something out of the game uh, second goal coming from not clearing the ball for a corner kick which is poor you know then probably things uh, conspired against us where the loss uh, Brad more so obviously PJ going off but you know Paddy's a, an able deputy so, so to speak so uh, going down to 10 men and again having to like, try and get something out of the game, trying to push to get something out of the game. We made a, a, a number of changes, trying to freshen it up, trying to get some impetus at the top end of the pitch as well. But again, it was a, a corner kick that we lose, uh, you know, and then it's goal from, uh, or maybe it was the last goal, but uh, you know, we uh, lost another goal from a corner kick again, a ball that should have been cleared. Poor uh, from that point of view. And then a Goalkeepers kick out, they break on us. You know, we're probably too open at that point in time. But, and then it's uh, rubbed out a little bit of salt in the wind. Uh, so, no, not a great day. We came here with high expectation, high hopes. We uh, felt we'd been doing well enough here to, uh, and we did it, make a good, really good account of ourselves in the first half. Didn't uh, get ourselves in front. Uh, so, it's the first thing we went behind really uh, see how the, the guys were going to react and so didn't react as well as we would want them to uh, so we're learning and I was under a, no illusions of how difficult the task was going to be and probably today is uh, certainly brought that right home Obviously the loss you mentioned of uh, PJ and, uh, and Brad was a, a bad blow for Falkirk this afternoon. We appreciate it's very early, but have the medical team indicated just how serious either injury is? Oh, it's very early, too too early. Brad uh, went over his ankle or turned his ankle. It was He, he thought he had snapped his ankle. But I don't think it's, it's bad, but I don't think it's that bad. But obviously it may take an x-ray. Uh, PJ's his knee, so again... You, with knees, you know, there can be a number of things, so it's very early to start speculating on what it would be, because nine times out of ten you need a scan to, you know, to, to come to some uh, conclusion on these things. So it's, uh, it's it's too early to tell, but not great, no no great, no great to lose two players to injury. Uh, you know, we've also got big Liam Henderson out as well at the moment. Uh, Seb, Kai Kennedy, all these guys out at the moment, so adding another two of them is no, no great. The one perhaps light that we, we did have today was the fact that two new faces joining the squad. What's your thoughts on the two debutants? Yeah, yeah I thought they worked really hard, yeah, and I thought uh, Ola showed his ability when he came on. He looked like he uh, seen things, he was good uh, dribbling, take the ball on and trying to make, make passes. I thought Roman worked, worked the defenders hard when he came on. It was a hard task at that moment in time but obviously you bring them on trying to uh, make an impact in the game see what they've got you know and I, th I think they certainly committed to, to, the, to the task uh, 
just didn't really get any any breaks at all, you know. Uh, was it Roman had, a, had an opportunity to go and made a great, great save, you know, so I think, you know, he's had a, a really good effort in goal there and the, and the goalie's made a great save, so maybe he could have got off the mark in, in his first game. So, no, they showed that they've got a little bit about them and uh, we're certainly going to need that. And just finally, we're back on home turf next week. What's going to be the, the focus between now and then? Oh, well, you know, we need to get back in on Monday. Uh, we'll look over this game, dust ourselves down, and uh, as you see, we're back at home. So we're obviously in a situation that we want to try and get a win on the board as soon as we possibly can. And, and uh, that was the case today when we came here. Uh, we came here to win, and uh, we'll be going to every game that way, and, and, and next week will be no different. We obviously, we need to lick our wounds, we need to take us on the chin, and we need to bounce back. Here's hoping. John, as always, that's your time. Thank you.